my my sense is that when we try to take the bull by the horns, we're the ones that end up getting hurt, you know. And the bull really has us; we don't have it. <laughs> yeah. No. So, but we go, we're going to do that. We're going to do that over and over and over and over again. And we're going to get those horns over and over and over again. And hopefully, we're going to start to learn from that experience <laughs> that this is not the way to bring healing to ourselves. And the universe is constantly giving us those messages. Look, slow down, take a breath, be gentle. Be forgiving. You know, get your arms around your experience. You're not broken, you don't need to be fixed. Come into your heart. Find that place within where you know you are loved. Totally and completely just the way you are. We all can do this. We all can do this. It's experiential. You know, we don't get it from a book. There is a place in the heart which is at peace. Beneath all those judgments, beneath all those feelings of shame, all those feelings of less than, Sometimes it helps to close our eyes like when we meditate because the idea of looking outside there for love and approval doesn't work. So as we turn our gaze inside and we look for that place of peace inside and we breathe into that, we begin to discover that it is there. Maybe in the beginning, it's just a few seconds of peace. Maybe it's a few minutes. But as we go into the process of loving ourselves and make the commitment to doing that, we're able to find that place more and more often. That doesn't mean we stop taking the bull by the horns. <laughs> we go right back out there and grab the bull. Only this time we go, oh shit, <laughs> here I go again. And we catch it more quickly. And we say, oh, that's right, this is not the way to peace. And we let go of those horns. And then we start to become a decent bullfighter. Because the idea of fighting the bull is not to let the bull get you. So, I mean, this is Divine Mother, Mother's work. It's not macho. And, you know, when I say macho, I'm not just talking to the men. I mean, women can be macho, too. Mm -hmm. Women can be out there grabbing the bull by the horns, not just the men. It's really about all of us learning to be gentle with ourselves. And, you know, as we learn to be gentle with ourselves, it begins to transfer to our relationships. We learn to be gentle with each other. Because just as we have these harsh, unforgiving expectations of ourselves, oftentimes we project that out there and we have those unforgiving expectations of others. And then our relationships are difficult. Then we're always meeting our own fear in every relationship. This is a dance. It's a dance with our shadow. It's a dance with our fear. It's a dance with our shame. Um, there, but there is something deeper than fear and shame. There is something that can hold fear and shame and compassion and awareness. And that's the Divine Mother energy. 